One of the best preserved Stradivarius violins was sold in an online auction for $15.9 million on Monday. The 1721 violin was bought by an anonymous bidder for around four times the previous auction record for a Stradivari violin. Before yesterday, the previous world record for an auction was uh, set last October uh, when we sold the Molitor Stradivarius for $3.6 million. Um, so that was, that was the, the benchmark for public sales previously. Um, there, are, there were recorded private sales for higher than that. Um, but that was, a, that was the record to beat. The violin was put up for auction by the Nippon Foundation in order to raise money to aid victims of the recent Japanese earthquake and tsunami. The Nippon Foundation had this idea that they wanted to do something to give back, but also to show people, to make a gesture that people would see and understand and perhaps inspire other people to do so. And I think that inspired a lot of the bidding. I think it inspired people to come out and appreciate the sale. Um, it was really a wonderful conflux of a confluence of, of, of Great, great thoughts behind it. The instrument is named after one of its previous owners, Lady Anne Blunt, the granddaughter of English poet Lord Byron. The Lady Blunt is one of around 600 violins, violas and cellos by the famed Italian maker Antonio Stradivari still in existence and among the finest examples. What makes this violin so important is that it has for most of its 300 years been so carefully preserved and it has really escaped all of the all the bad things that can happen to violins woodworm cracks um, accidental damage um, it has been very gently played at a couple uh, at some some moments of its of its existence but for the most part it's been preserved and what's great about that is that this allows us to see what a what a Stradivari looked like in 1725, uh, 10 years after it was made. And hopefully, it'll allow us to see 500 years from now what a Stradivari looked like back then.